Right boys, it is 1936 and we have Il Duce Mussolini in charge. I don't know why I said Mussolini, but we're going with it. I'm gonna ignore it. But I don't want him in charge. I don't want Italy. I want to play playing as the Papal States because I am truly a slave to EU4. We can actually do that and that also unlocks a secret little uh, extra to the focus tree down here. So we're gonna not rouse the Duce's wrath and pretend that everything's fine by building civilian factories, which I assume you meant to do at the start of the game in, uh, in Toy 4. Never actually known, and it scares me to ask. So, okay, first things we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pull out of Ethiopia, because at the end of the day, it's not a very papal thing to fight against other Christians. Yet. So, that's my excuse. Also, I don't want to lose to Ethiopia on camera. So, I'm just that we're gonna do that. So we either have to have the date be 1937, or we are losing and then we can withdraw from Ethiopia when we have like 15. Okay, let's not lose any divisions to Ethiopia, please. Come on. There we go. Withdraw from Ethiopia. So we've left and we're going to call it a staggering failure. <laughs> we're going to pretend that we were going to try and fight that in the first place and we're going to bring our boys home. With that out of the way, we are accumulation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, I, I know that the Northern Front and Southern Front stalled. I get that. But it, it's fine, don't worry about it. So we're gonna get some political power by undermining the Duce. I'm enjoying the people calling it Deuce. I'm pretty sure it's not Deuce, or it's Duce, but like, I could be wrong. What's the British guys going Deuce? We're just gonna train up some bog standard infantry. That's what I do best. And Germany's in a civil war. <laughs> yeah, I don't play with historical focuses because I like fun. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a thing. All right, let's keep removing the popularity of the fascists. It's kind of important. Whereas you need the staunch monarchist. Must be 135. Wait, what did I do? What's going on? London Treaty? Yeah, Naval Treaties. I don't want to spend 25 political power. I don't need that. I like how you get missions from the Duce. Like, Benito Mussolini, like, contacts you directly through this interface and goes, Hey, yo, buddy, <laughs> do this. As I'm undermining him. Right, we are going to convene the Grand Council and also grab ourselves a staunch monarchist. Wherever he is. Well, do I go for the silent workhorse first? Uh, we'll just go straight for him. Where is he? He's a monarchist. Oh, I need to convene the Grand Council. Okay, well, we'll go for the, the uh, silent workhorse for now anyway. Why not? All right, we've completed this focus. And now we can go down here and depose Mussolini. So El Duce is going to be El... Gone. My brain doesn't work fast enough at this time in the morning to uh, to be able to come up with a joke to do with Duce. That's where you edit the empty space out, Lathan. Pretend that you always had it. Come on, you can come up with something better. But now it's going to look bad because it's going to cut to me trying to think. And I've taken time to think and I still... What the... What? A communist coup in Ethiopia? That's convenient distraction from my inability to think. All right. Well, there goes Haley Selassie. Right. So we want to go down the Marquia d'Italia. Uh, but we need more than 25% support, uh, which we do not have. We currently have eight. So we need to grab ourselves Mr. Monarchist. There we go. Staunch Monarchist. We got him. And now we start doing this stuff. We're going to do some anti-democratic raids. Because I want to become the Pope as fast as possible. Devaluate the Lyra? Sounds like fun. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start working on our industry a little bit. Now, I'm going to click uh, Concentrated Industry. Why am I going to do that? Because I did it once about, what, five years ago when the game first came out? <laughs> Four years ago? Uh, and, and ever since I've gone down the Concentrated Industry path, I don't know if it's any good. I just do it every single time. All right, well, there's a civil war. I kind of want to send some guys just because why not? Might as well train up some generals, right? Am I allowed three? All right, let's grab you three. Go on, under Giovanni. Sorry to tell you this way, but uh, y you're going to Spain. I know, I know, but you have to. All right, the boys have turned up in Spain. All right, lads, go do something very impressive. Go, go take Madrid or something. That'll be fun. I mean, in your own time, boys. If you're ready for this sweeping encirclement, watch this. It's, it's magical. We've just taken Madrid, boys. It's just that easy. What I have can't be taught. Uh, do I try and break out these boys? I feel like I could probably give it a shot. I could very easily get cut off myself here. Hmm. <laughs> well, I need the political power, so we'll go for that. And then we need to... I don't know, let's just try to ban democracy. Just get rid of it. All right, we're on 23%. Nice. That's, I'm really trying to... Is it... That's an open tile. <laughs> All right. I'm going to send one guy for some Mission Impossible type deal here. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna get copyrighted. Da, da. Let's go, boys. Round the back. Right. Well, now we can go over here and do the monarchy in the Italia. All right, don't get in circle. Don't get in circle. Trying to break out the boys. Oh, what an incredible counter encirclement. Oh, no one's expecting it. Truly, I am uh, a modern Napoleon. And not the guy in Paraguay that got most of his male population killed. That thought he was a modern day Napoleon. It's a lot of people killed. God damn. Kind of depressing. 
Well, let's just move on to encircling the, uh, the Spanish and destroying them. What a miracle. Oh, I've just spotted another one. Come on, lad, get that encirclement off. I know what you're thinking, Lath. Surely not. Surely you can't cut Spain in half. And yet, here I go. Okay, I'm, I want to retreat because I don't want to lose my troops. <laughs> All right, we have the Italian monarchy. Wonderful. So that, by the way, gives us PNM as the ruling party. So our uh, king is Vittorio Emmanuel III, the soldier king, which is pretty cool, but he's not going to last very long. So now we want to go and do some a uh, little bit, a little bit of press censorship. We're going to go uh, ban the communists. Like I said, I'm not doing this the stable way. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. Develop Ethiopia. Wait, that requires oh requires one of the following. I was about to say, I, I think that one's kind of done. Libyan Railway. Provisional government, you're not ready yet, lads. You don't know what you're, you're in for. Come on, boys. Surely we can break one Spanish. Please don't get encircled. Oh, he's on 90. Ah, oh, desperate defense. Classic cowardly move from the AI. <laughs> Go on. 93, break him. And then Granada's open. Can't keep desperate defensing. Oh, man. Look, I don't care enough about this war. You're just something to do whilst my mission tree, like, oh, sorry. It's not a mission tree. We're not an E4. My focus tree is completed. All right, what's my... Okay, I'm at 36. Do some uh, anti-fascist raids. I'm just destroying my stability. <laughs> no, and the German Reich is dead. I'm missing artillery. I should probably stop actually producing some. I've not been up producing artillery this entire time. Well, that's going to be embarrassing. All right, start, start producing that then, lads. You know what? Let's just attack over here. Seems lazier. There you go. All right, and now we cut off this front. What's the... Probably Portugal is the, the quickest way to get there. So the way the Civil War works is that you can only attack in certain states at certain times. Otherwise, you suffer massive malices. Uh, I'm ignoring that. And I'm, uh, I'm trucking ahead because I'm farming generals. That's like a better thing to do. All right, we're off. Let's go and circle the, uh, the rest of the Spanish front. Oh, God! It's fine, don't worry about it. It was a brilliant display of uh, technological, uh, strategic, I can't even, uh, I was just very close. <laughs> it's getting a research lot. Well, how close are we? Can we get the power to the king? Uh, not just yet. I kind of want to improve the validity a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, national focus. Let's devalue the lira. Which sounds like it makes the economy worse, but it doesn't for various economical reasons that I won't get into because I don't know them. <laughs> Also, I might look a little bit different today because uh, I've only got one studio light. Usually I've got two and that's like the ideal, but uh, I've only got one because it fell on me and broke. And I mean like shattered and I've got cuts on my feet um, because I stood on the glass because I'm an idiot. So if I look different, that'll be why. <laughs> if I wince, that'll be why. All right, we're pushing them back. There we go, wonderful. They're not ready for the cheeky run. Do they? Okay, they've got a port over here. Pronto, oh boy, <laughs> it's just... That puts us in a very nasty spot indeed. Um, let's go ahead and leave. <laughs> Anarchist uprising. Um, I don't know where to go now. We'll just go this way. Don't let them get any ports. Yeah, look, look at that. This is fine. This is, this is fine. All right, we're about to get our 50% prerequisite. And we've also conquered the west of Spain. So that's wonderful. Your welcome team. Spain, quite a strongly Catholic nation. So I feel like, I feel like this is very on brand. I don't think I know how to use in this game of submarines, so let's just build those. I'm good at suffering. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. Like, you tell me, okay, it's going to take you, like, 50 restarts to go to Ethiopia. Yeah, I'm down. You tell me you need to produce any a modicum of skill? Ooh. To be fair, and this is going to be a very controversial statement given my audience, I think the Hoi 4 audience is less judgy than the EU 4 one when it comes to not playing meta. But that's also probably because I am very obviously don't know what I'm doing in Hoi 4. It's sort all of like a toddler walking for the first time, you know. I mean, congratulations, kid. You walked a couple of steps. Because it's the first time he's done it, it's special. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. All right, we're taking Almeria. Oh, so we're cleaning up this uh, civil quite nicely. Excellent. Oh, I'm going to go straight for Valencia. We're off to the races. You guys can clean up that pocket. Valencia's wide open. The AI doesn't see it. I don't know why. Surely they're dead, right? Normal Spain is, is dead. No, no, they're still kicking. They have... Uh, 7% of victory points. Where? <laughs> Alright, go take that victory point. Where, where is... They don't hold any old Granada. They hold Granada. Let's go take that. Right, we have over 50% so we can do power to the king. Which is going to grant us political power, some political reforms. We can abdicate, which we're going to do. We also get a political advisor, Alberto Di Stefani. That's nice. And Japan has left the London Naval Treaty. Which is terrifying for me because, again, I don't know how navies work. If someone, okay, if someone feels like in the comments, if you want to do like a really step-by-step -step guide of, of how the Navy works, pff, that'd be great. I'd read the hell out of that. I can't offer you anything, but I might heart the comment. We won the Civil War? No? How did this normal Spain outlast the Anarcho guys? All right, we are going to seek 
Papal support. Makes sense, right? Your crown is a king. What do you do? Ask the Pope to bless you. Charlemagne did it. Most other emperors did it. And we really not won this war. Is it just Granada? There we go. We won. Right, we've seeked. Seeked? Took? We sought. That's one. Come on, late English. We sought papal support. Now we have it. And now we have a bit of a contest between Victoria Emmanuel III and His Holiness. But what we can do is start getting the guys to go a bit more that way. It's going to get us some, uh, some stability. That's nice. We'll grab that. So we do agents of the, of the church, which will give us another operative slot, as well as, you know, put in another 5% another to the left. And we need it to be over here. And then we get the Pope's ascendancy. Imagine if I just pivoted. Like the, the title of the video stays the same, but instead I just strengthened the Kingdom of Italy. Tigre declared war on the Anarcho-Communist Union of Africa. That's something I want to check out because I have no idea. Okay, that, that's what? Ah, it appears Ethiopia decided once the Italians were gone, it was time to kill themselves. So now we have the Anarcho-Communist Union of Africa fighting against everyone. I need world tension to be another 2% and then I can send volunteers. I want to go help them out. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, because, but it's just funny. So we're going to click strengthen the papacy. We can also abdicate, but we're not going to do that. Portugal wants to buy our ships. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to use them. We have no steel available. Okay, let's buy some steel. We'll get it from the French. Why not? All right, strength of the papacy has been completed. So uh, here's the thing. At this point is when you can, you're meant to be able to do, you know, liturgical reforms and like, oh, that'd be great. But the thing is, liturgical reforms moves at 50%. That's not enough to get papal dominance. I don't know what happened because I've run it in tests. Um, it's impossible. <laughs> you can't actually form the papacy. <laughs> The reason for that is um, this whole like balance of power thing, you can get it up previously and then finish it off here, but it resets it to zero once you uh, get this guy in charge. So it's not actually possible. So we can get another 15%, you know, which raises us up to what? 50? And then we can contend fascism, which gives us another 10. So it gets us up to 60. It's not enough. In fact, why don't I just show you? So we are going to disband the black shirts, do some liturgical reforms, which brings up to 50%. Let's have 100% stability now, because that's how the Pope rolls. It's what happens when the Pope endorses you. Everyone's like, all right, well, I guess, I guess he deserves to rule. You, you can't argue with the Pope. Even if you're not Catholic, you don't argue with the Pope. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not Catholic, but if the Pope snaps his fingers and said, Lath, go get me a cup of coffee. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's gravitas, man. We are now going to go over here and condemn fascism. It's not enough. This is the maximum possible thing you can do. You can get up to 60%. Uh, you need 61%. We're 1% short. There is nothing that you can do, as far as I'm aware, to, 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 to form the papacy in the current, uh, the current patch. Fortunately, I can do this. And that means that the Pope is ascendant. <laughs> so, with the power of the papacy exceeding that of the Italian monarchy, many ardent supporters of the Catholic Church have today come out to demand the Pope take up leadership of the country. He's already accepted the role put forth by the people and declared that what is happening today is indeed the will of God himself. There is not much the monarchy can do to stop him now. God wills it. So, we get... Papa Pio XI becomes leader of the non-aligned party. We get the Supreme Pontiff, which gives us uh, improved religious opinion and a reduction in the time to justify a war goal, as well as temperamental, which would like reduce it by another 25%, which is great. <laughs> and the Pope ascends to power. And that unlocks this. Nice little uh, extra hidden tree here. The papacy re reborn. Now this holiness has overthrown the king and taken control over Italy. It is time for the Italian people to align towards the vision and goals of the church. Now it's going to give us some building slots, some land forts, and may, more importantly, make us the papal state. Now there's a lot going on. The tension's gone down since. Uh, it looks like the anarcho-communist Union of Africa is actually doing pretty, is doing very well. All right. So with the death of Uzbekistan, the papal state is reborn. And now we go down here. Deus Vault, which gives us attack plus 5%, factory output plus 10%, and offensive war penalty stability modifier plus 50%, which is, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. We also get division recovery rate and recruitable population from Catholic action. And we unlock this uh, later on. Uh, and that is going to give us a war goal against every single country in Europe that is not majority Catholic. So it's time for a modern day crusade. Well, I reckon we line up against the French first. I don't know if we'll be able to beat them because, uh, well, it, it is me. But that's fine. I'll give it a shot. Do we start with a better navy than France? Presumably not, right? I just want to try a naval invasion. <laughs> and that's how to get rid of all of your fuel. Our free dockyards, which means more submarines that are woefully outdated. That's okay. Armenia has declared war on the Soviets. Wow, okay, there's a lot, lot going on. Now, Crimea is independent. Well, I don't think for much longer. <laughs> also fighting Soviet Latvia. <laughs> Good luck, buddies. Who aren't in a civil war, they just seceded. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. I, I respect that. Gathered Deus Vault. I'm in Catholic action now. Which will give us a uh, recruitable population. 
start doing some other stuff as well. Any more trains? The joke here about the trains running on time, but I imagine Hearts of Amphorians has sort of heard that one. Maybe way, way too much. Plus I missed the train the other day, so I really don't feel like gassing up trains at the moment. I don't see how that's the Papal State's fault, but <laughs> we move. Time for war. As long as heresy stands in Europe, there can be no peace. It is time for the new holy war. A new war she's raw in his name. Ready to strike the heretic with righteous fury. Let there be no peace until the judgment has hit every unbeliever from the barrel of the 150mm cannon. Seems very aggressive, this Pope. I want to say that very fastidiously now. It's not how you use the word fastidiously. I was going to say vociferously, but I got confused. It's ironic me misusing the word fastidious, considering it's the very opposite of what I am. So that's not ironic at all. Well, to be fair, most people watching this aren't going to know the definitions. I might just commandeer some civilian trains. <laughs> what? Where, where's the option to do that? Oh, God. Greater Italy. I'm, I'm so busy with the whole Pope thing. Can't be doing Greater Italy right now. Okay, I've just summoned 14 divisions from the depths of hell. Oh, sorry, heaven. Go somewhere you're not going to eat all the supply. Like here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't need more units. I need better equipped ones. That'll do me. That's that's helped immeasurably. Okay. So, how do we beat the French? I have an idea. It involves this ragtag bunch of colonial troops. All right, Guila, get over here and build the intel network in France. Okay, so we have available war goals on uh, everyone up until 1940. What, two years? Oh, Jesus. All right, we're going to hit the French first, right? Because if I attack the Yugoslavians, then everyone else is going to get involved. So we have to fight the French and beat the French. I wish I'd done Paradu because then I could just drop straight on Paris. But I didn't do that, and now we're here. All right, we get the Holy Lands, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna ask them to give me Palestine. Okay, well, no war goal to justify... What, what do you mean, no war goal? Do we have war goals enable everyone but France? Because oh, they're Catholic, aren't they? Okay, so I've got to go against Yugoslavia. Then I've got to fight Romania. I can't beat Romania. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not built like that in this game. Okay, I can't justify a war goal. Because the war tension isn't high enough. So we'll have to fight them. Okay, that's fine. We only need 24 divisions. We don't need others. The lot in the east can hold. And the west can hold. And then the eastern lot will fight successfully. It's not going to go well. <laughs> okay, well, let's just do it. Okay. So, declared war. That is the case. Okay, the French won't attack me, presumably. At what point do I just keep pushing? I, mean, I think... Do I stop? Do I keep running? Okay, well, the east is holding, so I'm okay. Nice. All right. We're good. We're good. No, he doesn't need support. He'll hold. Okay. We just need to cut off these troops in the north and then we've got nothing to worry about. Yeah. If you could pin him, that'd be great. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm a tactical genius, me. I also have no regard for logistics. All right. Run them down like the dogs they are, boys. That's a colonial infantry. He probably shouldn't be fighting in Europe. That's fine. He's, he's equipped for this. How you say? Well, not physically, but morally. Did the, did the Romanians not come in? I'd be very delighted if the, if the Romanians didn't come in. Okay, we've plenty of guns, plenty of artillery, plenty of trucks. We have a lot of deficit of planes. Oh, right, yeah. It's okay. Um, I think we've got bombed to hell. Okay, let's get another operative, uh, and you are going to build an intel network over here. All right, we are very close. No, no, don't let him go. Don't let him go. Oh, chuck that on the Reddit, boys. I've encircled Yugoslavia as Italy. Truly, I am built different. Okay, stop attacking. You're wasting a lot of our lives. In fact, carry on attacking. Get some more encirclements. What's the Italian version of a Blitzkrieg? Let me Google it. <laughs> right, lads. Blitzkrieg, also known as Gorilla Flash. <laughs> avanti, avanti! Gorilla Flash! <laughs> All right, the French seem to be attacking, but we are holding over there. Quick points. <laughs> Gotta go for the Gorilla Flash. Okay, they appear to be pushing us back slightly. Uh, that's, that's terrible. Okay, well, we've, we destroyed the pocket. So now we can uh, push, right? <laughs> My troops are so bad. Bro, we're not even going to make it to the rest of the nations to do it. Yugoslavia is just pinning us. The war goals are going to expire by then. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, the British have, have handed over Palestine. We got Jerusalem, boys. We won. We just marched Surely, in. surely, on. surely. I'm in, I'm in, I'm let in. Me I'm in, I'm in. Let me lead, let me lead. Let's go. I'm no, a we, got this. we got this easy. We got this. We got this easy, man. We're going to take Jerusalem. I'm taking Jerusalem. Take it, take it. Go! Oh, there we go. Days full, boys. Yes! Yeah! Let's go. You thought the Christians were out of the Crusades? Nah. They're just getting started. Okay, it appears we are now at war uh, with, with the Czechs as well. But that's fine. Oh, hey, we'll stay with Catholic Dominion. Let's do that. With the ascension of the papacy as a major power to be reckoned with, once again, it is time for us to reach out to all the faithful Christians and act as the hand that guides the people, just as the shepherd guides his flock, protects them from the will. Or something about will of God. I'm too focused on how many people are losing this stupid Italian war over here. We've only lost 57,000, to be fair. Okay, just don't 
you don't push back. Okay, boys? Okay. One of my field marshals was shot down over Libya. Why was he in Libya? Someone tell me why this man was in Libya. That's a lot of... Yeah, we're not gonna be... Yep. It's just... Uh... What? The death of the Pope? Oh, my God. The 12th. Cavalry attack plus 10%. Grandmaster of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem. God damn. Okay, we are holding on this front, right? Yes. Okay, good. Right, we're gonna do Iberian protection uh, because the, we can create the Catholic Dominion and hopefully they'll join. <laughs> okay, Yugoslavia is capitulated, which gives us a border with Romania, which is not the best thing, to be honest. How are you getting on over in the West? Still good? Still good. He's had a blessed job. Do I just push straight in? Like, <laughs> okay, we'll try. Oh. <laughs> Looks like America's seeking some indulgences. That's okay. That's good. Nashville Spain becomes a puppet. Okay, let's start inviting the, <laughs> the Latin Americans. Go Spain, push, push. What? You're in, what are you doing? Right, I think the Spanish are gonna die if I don't do something here. Okay, it's time. Go on in Argio, whatever your name is. Naval invasion support. Well, actually just uh, convoy raiding here and here. Is that 30? We need 39 in Western Mediterranean Sea. Okay, well, let's, we, let's, let's do that. Yo, bomb his ships. Okay, what what is this reshuffling? Please just fall back to behind the river line and just hold there. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've just realized how open you all are. So screw the supplies, we're going in. God, okay, right. Where can we push through? Bro, please give me lend -lease. What do I need? Like a lot of support equipment. Okay, let's get that. I don't know what, do I have enough production? Oh my God. Okay, we don't have any steel. We need steel, of course, because we were trading with the French. Uh, let's trade with the Germans. Seems like a good idea. All right, they're off, go to Marseille, boys. I think we've been caught by submarines. Uh, treaty like football, go around the back. <laughs> oh, not <in> Spanish. <laughs> oh, well, uh, his supplies, his supply lines are broke. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, you push that, you go there, go there, go around, go, 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 go. Uh, go attack there, go, 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 go. Okay, you made it, you made it, boys, you made it. Oh, push around, push around. Oh, God, this is actually working. Okay, the, the Spanish, I really thought they'd do a little bit more than that. God, I wasn't looking at this front, I was not looking at this front. Why? But they're so open. Let's just start pushing, lads. Why are the French easier to push than the Yugoslavians were? Boys, go in. Okay, I need the Spanish to hold out a little bit longer. I also would... I'd love it if we could break these boys out. Thank you. Okay, we're about to take Bucharest. I got lucky and encircled a bunch of these guys in Yugoslavia. Okay, I'm just going to push for the, the kill here versus trying to get encirclements. God, my supply lines are a mess. They just keep on leaving troops out. Like this, this, I should not be winning this. <laughs> they just do stuff like this. Okay, they are stacking up on the check border. Uh oh. <laughs> Probably should be checking. It's hard to fight on two fronts. Who knew? Brazil's joined, Argentina joins. Loads of them join. Look at them all joining. Do me a favor, boys. Help me. <laughs> and also Spain. Catholic world is uniting behind the Pope. <laughs> I don't want to look at this front. It upsets me. <laughs> I think the French are pretty stretched thin. Gotta get out of these damn mountains. Okay, he's gonna push in there. That's fine. No, hold, boys. Let him push, let him push. Okay, the Spanish aren't gonna last much longer. I need to do something here. Kazakhstan's dead. Suriname's come in. Where are your true? You have one division! <laughs> and the rest are just sitting up there. God! We've only lost about 200,000 men, which is surprising given the sort of scale of this. I just need them to flood into Spain. I need the South Africans, South Africans, South Americans to flood into Spain. Also, I can't really lose Bucharest. He says losing Bucharest. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Oh, the South Africans, South Americans have arrived, but they're just sitting in Bilbao. They're not sure what to do. Oh, I'm sure what to do here. Why would you do this to yourself? Okay, well, boys, <laughs> this is the most scuffed Toy 4 game I've ever been a part of. Right, Romania's almost done. If I can cut off this lot. We have a chance. Ignore the supplies. Just ignore them. We don't need supplies. We'll... If you find a gun on the floor, pick it up and use it. This might actually work. <laughs> Go on, buddy. Go on. Okay, well, we took the province. Uh, it's just these guys might be dead. <laughs> the Americans, more indulgences. Yes, please. Okay, well, wow. The, the South Americans really did turn up. Just in time as well. Uh, I think you're dead, bud. Don't worry, you'll have rewards in paradise. Probably. We can promise that, right? With the Pope. Okay, that's good. Also, the fact that we've received those guns, very important. Because uh, we might, might, might be running a slight slight deficit right now. <laughs> it's fine, okay. Uh, the Spanish are about to die. They're very close to death, so we need to push the French. Okay, here's my plan. I don't have one. I was just, I, I was just saying that. Alright, you lot go over there. 
And then, Mr. Giovanni, you're going to have to hold this line yourself. Wait, if you could... Yep, thank you. Justification. UK is justifying against me. That is not good. That is bad. <laughs> Stop justifying against me. Just, just, just chill for a little bit. Just wait until after this war. Can I excommunicate the English? I don't think they'll do anything. The Church of England and I. Yeah, let two of them... That's brilliant, mate. Let two of them come in. Bang. Wonderful. Look at that. Brilliant military tactics. Okay, we're losing. Oh, God, the Yugoslavians are back. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to push this. We need to focus on this front. We have no logistics. Okay. What's going on with our supplies? <laughs> they don't exist. Okay, we're going to try and make a little bit of a breakthrough down here. Uh, let's keep pushing. What's going on? That sounds like... Okay, the Nether Antil, Netherlands Antilles is in our faction. Oh, that's a disgusting mess. Um, and the British attacked them. I don't want to be at war with the British just yet or ever. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a no on that one, Chief. All right, I'm going to try and make this messy by extending the front line as far as possible. That's how I wage war. I'm thinking is if I can make it really like extended as a front line, I can maybe confuse the AI. <laughs> Worked over in the East. Okay, I, I, they managed to counter and circle the French. I don't, but they swap positions because Galicia was held by Spain. I'm just going to do my own thing, ignore that. If you're able to push into there, that'd be wonderful. What did you do? Catholic Mexico. Why are you allied? Why are you fighting the Pope, dude? Oh God, my, my allies. <laughs> They're fighting the United States. I'm not joining that. I'm busy. I got my own thing going on. <gasps> they pulled out. Oh my God, it worked. Boys, just keep running. <laughs> they don't have any supply. Neither do we. Okay, our boys are actually getting completely overrun here. This was a terrible, terrible idea. Why did I do this? All right, just rush for Paris. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh my god, they might actually go. They actually make it. Go, go, go. No, oh, we were so close. Help him, help him. Everyone get to Paris. Full of Paris. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's the dumbest thing I've ever been involved. Also, you realize you can just, yeah, you can just leave. You know that, right? Okay, they're attacking us. Um, Right, what if I were to assault now? Now that we're all jumbled up. Go, 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 go on. Break through somewhere. Break through somewhere. Prever like, hopefully this one. This was the best one to break through on. Go on then. <gasps> yes, yes. Keep going. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? Okay, go for the guaranteed. Go for the guaranteed. Go on, boys. Oh my god, they're, they're flooding out and in. <laughs> oh, we won. Nice. Go, go, go. Stay, stay. Go. Kill. Okay, I think they're around the corner. <laughs> Can't be sure, but I think they're around the corner. Yep, they're here. Okay, right. Uh, Mr. Mister Yu, you get over here. This is going to ruin my supplies, isn't it? All right, well, they've taken out Libya, which, to be honest, is a No, the Holy Land! Heathenous bastards. How many guns do we have? <laughs> I think it's easy to say how many don't we have. In fact, if I get the checks, we win, right? So let's just push the checks. Go, 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 go. Okay, and then one long line, aren't they? So this shouldn't be too hard. Go around. Assault there. Go, on, boys. Keep going. It's just, just going to be encirclement after encirclement, lads. Capture the Swiss operative. All right, keep going. All right, ignore Romania. Romania's fine. If they come... Oh, my God. That's a lot of Romanian back. I think Romania itself is just back. At least, like, what, a third of it. All right, keep pushing forwards, boys. Endlessly forwards. All right, a couple more Yugoslavians. Thought we were done with you, but no. Yeah, four divisions to attack the entirety of... Oh, God. Okay, can we recapitulate you? Right, sweep across the front. America still wants to give me stuff. Please do. God, I, I need it. I hate fighting Romania, man. What happened here? Okay, I guess you just killed those guys. Why? Oh, my God. Go. No. Stay. Stay. You lost our advantage in, in the Czech Republic. <laughs> this game is super frustrating sometimes. Fun on so many different fronts, you can't see. Right, I've been circled a bunch of these guys. I haven't been doing my research. I need to. Okay, we're about to see a plethora of dead checks, which is a sight that's wondrous to behold at this point in the game, boys. <laughs> How have I beaten France before I've managed to win anything to do with the East? All right, throw bodies at the problem until it's solved, boys. That's the plan. How have we lost ground when more men have arrived? We're not having too bad of a supply issue. There we go. It's more of a skill issue at this point. All right, keep pushing. This five division is going to do what everyone else couldn't. All right. Provided when it forks into two, that's when we have the best chance of, of beating them. No. Just chill. They're going to push me back, so I want to make sure that I'm... Yeah. Okay, there we go. You go there. Go there. Go. Why does the front line disappear, boys? Just keep throwing bodies at the problem. They'll eventually run out of manpower. See? <laughs> Sometimes it's an inelegant solution, but it works. You might not like it, but I get results. <laughs> okay, no. Let them through. Let them through. Let them through. They've got an entrenchment out there. Let them through. Let them just hold, hold, hold. Now attack. Let them burn themselves out. All right, take the forts, boys. That's a that's a heavy tank. I haven't even thought about building tanks. How do I capitulate for the third time this game? Go to Prague. Okay. Right. Uh, supply wise, 
Switch to motorized, please. Like, we've got trucks. It's the only thing we do have. Okay, now we've got through that bull neck. We are sort of doing a bit better. Oh, God. I'm seeing the end in sight, boys. Just wanted to fight the heathens. So that was it. Netherlands and Teals. Uh, the fourth, maybe? Time capitulating? I need to check out what's going on in South America, man. So I've been a bit focused elsewhere. All right, lots of little encirclements, boys. Stats as well. I've only lost like 500,000 men, but it feels like a lot more. So France lost almost a million men. The Czechs lost 300,000. Yugoslavia, 200,000. Romania, 200,000. I'd be willing to bet most of mine is from attrition. <laughs> oh, just stop with the desperate defense stuff, mate. Tiring, right? We're about to take Prague. That should be it. <sighs> Finally. What do I even want to do? <laughs> I do not know. Right, I got some water and I thought about it and I thought, I just want to ask anything, do I? <laughs> I want to occupy the French. I kind of want puppets. Right, and it looks like we're all good and we're at peace. Um, so apparently, uh, all these areas are ours and, well, apparently someone went to, that's just Spain, sure. Uh, but I puppeted most areas, including the lot on the east. So we've got um, Catholic Prince Paul, uh, Catholic Romania, and... Uh, Okay, you are allied. I don't. What are you? Why are you? Why do you have a thing? Oh, they just got good opinions. Okay. All right, so look at South America. Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, so it looks like South America is unified under my alliance and are being invaded by the U.S. I don't know why. And Panama's capitulated for the fifth. Okay, it looks like all of my uh, puppets have joined as well. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> I really don't want to join this fight. Do it yourself, lads. I'm not fighting the U.S. I'm, I don't care. I'm not doing it. Okay, we've got some resistance going on. That's uh, that's a little bit of an issue. That's that's fine though. We can we can sort this with operatives. All right, one there, one there, one here. Should help with the resistance. What? Whoa! Well, why am I at war? What's going on here? Calls our enemy. Why? What, what happened? Why am I fighting Japan? <laughs> For what? Japanese Italian war. But, but who did this? And why? Oh my God! Why the? Chinese capitulated. Germany's at war again. Netherlands Antilles for the sixth time has capitulated. Right, I don't know what's going on. So the Germans are fighting the Russians. The Allies are fighting the South Americans. And the Japanese are fighting me. But I don't understand why. No, they're also fighting Xinjiang, who's allied to Bulgaria. Dude, what about me was the... It what happened here? What did I do to warrant this? Shameful display, this. The Zambians have joined... The, and the Iraqis have joined the, the Balkan... Socialist Republic. What happened to Iran? What happened to Iran? There's Kurdistan, Azerbaijan, and Iran's been split into two, but three? And the US is here as well. Why is the US here? Why are they fighting Iraq? <laughs> why is- Why are you at war with the Allies? What is- What is- Okay, this is the weirdest game of 44 I've ever been a part of. I just want to finish my mission tree, man. Mario Nostrum. Or well, towards a Greater Italy. Let's do that one. I'll do the Mario Nostrum thing. That involves way too much effort. Playing greater history. Well, what do we need for that? People say we be known as the Italian Empire. I don't want to do that. To be an organization plus 15%. Damn. We have to control Suez. What? And the leadership of Papa P Pio the 12th. These ideas have been resurfaced in Italy shall turn tool throughout the ages. Viva l'Italia e gloria al duce. Um, he's gone. <laughs> God, what a mess of a front that is. Aren't you American war? So the Japanese... I'm fighting on the same side as the... What? Okay, so China isn't fighting England. But Japan is. So now Japan is at war with everyone. It's like a three-way war going on in South America. They're very confused as to what's what's occurring. Wait, what? Japan is called Hungary as our enemy. Well, that is a plot twist I was not expecting. He's a try of tanks, at least. Oh, he, he, uh, he hasn't joined the war. Wait, no, he, he is at war with us. Oh, he's red. Oh, right, I've got to call in you. And then you as well. I'm just going to nip in and take, take Budapest, I suppose. <laughs> really? They're already, already encircled. Do you mind terribly taking Budapest? Thank you. Ah, we get... It's the title, boys. By blood alone. Wink. Well, there you go, Hungary. They tried, bless him. Right, no doubt you could tell from the offensive lines what my plans are. Panama's capitulated again. Who keeps on fighting you? What's going on? The US takes you, and then they sign a white peace. Well, they don't this time. This is going to be the one time they annex you. Nope. And then you just get involved again because you're automatically allied, and then they just take you again because they're standing on your bloody capital. The Russian Civil War has killed <laughs> several million. Um, what else? What other wars we got here? Japanese-Italian War led by the uh, uh, Germans and the uh, Chinese. No one's lost any anything because none of us are fighting each other. The American-Argentinian War. 
The United States lost 200,000 troops. Yo, big up the boys for doing that much damage. I mean, they've lost almost a million men, which is why I didn't want to get involved, but they did something. The American-Bulgarian War, 515,000 versus, yep, again. Well, Mongolia leading this time. Mongolia, Xinjiang, Iraq, Zambia, and Bulgaria, natural allies. How is Bulgaria alive? All right. We've got by blood alone. We've got five medium tanks that, to be honest, are not very good. More importantly, we have nothing to fear. Let's set everyone to aggressive. Well, the Germans have turned up. Best they can by the looks of it. All right, this lot are going to spearhead the rush to Berlin. When do I get my claim? Now. All right, here goes nothing, boys. Call in allies. Everyone has joined our war. That's nice. Trigger. Trigger. Go. Win. Boys, you, you're not... You're not fighting over here. What the? Where did you come from? Well, how did he get behind us? Oh, it's not important. Just go to Warsaw. We've been embargoed by Cuba. That seems ironic. All right. What if I trigger you as well? Just rush. Throw your lives away needlessly. We're here to save the Soviet Union. <laughs> I've really lost sight of the whole Catholic point of this. I want to purge everyone with holy fire and I want to end any upside with communists. All right. We should have taken, we've taken Berlin. <laughs> Boys, what are you doing? I've already set you into aggressive. Rush. Okay, the medium tanks aren't performing too poorly. Oh my god, we broke across the reverse Maginot. Okay, so I forgot about Belgium. Sue me. <laughs> so screwed. It's fine, it's fine. Look, I'll just do that and no one will know. My boys just push west. Gotta go and try and help them by capitulating the Belgians or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, the Belgians destroyed. Okay, we are like mildly getting pushed back. We could, we could do a decent encirclement here. That's like not half bad. Got some tanks going behind them. Oh, bloody hell. We're not exactly amphibious. Why do we have camels here? <laughs> Fine, whatever. The camels are taking Poland. Okay, we have pushed over here. I'll take corners, just do something. <gasps> oh, God, that's a mess of a front. Just, just get rid of all of whatever the hell that is. Don't do anything to do with the Soviet Union, please. Okay, just do... Something. I don't know. Okay, we've got to protect Romania. And push back in France. What the? Where are you going? I didn't, did I tell you to go there? Or is that an automatic thing? Because you've just killed yourself. I admire the bravery, soldier, but we have better things we could do with our resources. All right, go to Brussels. I don't know where my tanks are. I've just sent them to Brussels. Okay, there are little pockets of Belgians around the place, which I'd love to get rid of. All right, can I have military access from the Soviets? Thank you. Okay, we're dangerously close to getting cut off here. Do we capture a railway gun or something? I think they, no, they've got a railgun right there that's completely, like, just unprotected. I'm going to encircle and nick it. Okay, France is, it, it, it's not good. France isn't good. That's, that's definitely bad. And the issue is when France falls, I don't have anything to protect myself in Italy. I have no idea what's going on. Absolutely none. I'm going to push to Hamburg, boys. <laughs> okay. Um, they're now fully encircled on the Maginot. Uh, boys, we need to get those boys out. Oh, God. Hold the Maginot under all circumstances. Under any circumstances. He says leaving the Maginot. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Can we get someone in there? There's a cavalry unit. It's all you're good for. Okay, right. They should have supply. Oh god, they're cut off down here. Um, that's bad. That's okay. Um, just start running, man. I don't know. Uh, there used to be a, f a, a fair few more of you. You lot need to hold the mountains. Okay, so you're going to get there through attacking through enemy lines. You know what? Sure, you do you. I'm beyond caring at this point. You're dead. That's fine. I think I lost another division up here. Push to Hamburg. Just go to Hamburg. What's going on behind me? Stop having things around the Soviets. It's fine. The Soviets are chill. Go take Königsberg, though. Why, why do I have a front line against my own people? Oh, my God. Okay. You get a new thing. Whatever. I don't care. Where are you? Over. Yeah, sure. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. You go here as well. We need one front line. Against the Germans. I think that they got encircled. Okay, we're good. Right. One front line. We've abandoned the Maginot because I misclicked. Go there. They got cut off again. Yep, they've taken the Maginot. This is bad. <laughs> got six guys to hold Italy. Oh my god. Well, Brazil died. They'll be back soon. I don't think the game knows how to handle it when uh, when the guys keep... Look, because he's going to sign a white piece, right? Oh, he didn't join me this time. Oh, sometimes they just rejoin me and enter the war again. Go aggressive. Go with God, boys. Go with God. Literally have Jesus on our side. <laughs> Such a thin line. Oh boy. Avanti, boys. Avanti. Oh my god, these guys actually made it. All right, get the Hamburg. All right, the tanks are moving. Pretty sure I had more tanks, and I don't know where they are. 
Uh, down here. Start moving them up. Okay. All right. We th these guys. I don't know how these are heroes. They somehow scrambled to get here, and they have. I th they came from the Maginot, defending the Maginot to here. Right, the tanks are pushing to Hamburg. Get to Wilhelmshaven and behind. How close are they? They got to be real close, right? I mean, it's not that far. Not that close, to be fair. Okay, where are you going? What? Okay. What do you think is there for you? Where are you going? You're just sitting there. Move. Oh, I hate you all. I wish you were slow and painful death. All right, you lot. Stop making... What are you? Is Poland back? Poland's back. Oh, that's an unprotected front line. Just don't let them into Germany. If we can capitulate Germany, I'll, I'll count it as a win. Boys, just keep pushing. Ah, yes, Belgium. Or as it's more commonly referred to, France. They've actually... 35%. Oh my god. They're going to capitulate the Spanish. <laughs> Who knew? The Belgians, huh? All right, if we take Frankfurt, that'll, that'll put us a decent shot away. Oh my god, the East. Just don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I mean, we're on the bloody goal line now, aren't we? Come on, Frankfurt. A little bit more oomph. I won Italian Romanian division. You legends. I mean, you're dead now, but, you know, well, you were. What happened to my southern front? Why? Why has that happened? Our oh, front lines in this game are just stupid, and I hate them, and oh my god. We're all going to get cut off. Actually, no, they're all running to... They're all rushing forwards to try and fill the gap that's just been created versus, like, you know, trying to do anything smart. Okay, just don't let them take back any German territory. That's all I ask. And you lot, scum past. Let's just go there. Do something. Help me. Oh, we took Dortmund. Then we abandoned Dortmund. Oh, screw you, Belgium! <laughs> oh, I'll take this land for myself. <laughs> Especially the Belgians. Although the Belgian puppet might not go amiss, considering how much damage they did. Apparently we've got Sweden as well. And Finland. We'll take Finland. Dude, we'll fight the Russians. Are the Russians, are, are they involved in this? Yeah, they are. All right, we'll leave the East then. Because presumably he wants it. I've submitted zero demands. Well, I guess I'll take it then. Not quite sure how that's happened. But I'm going to claim that... What? Okay, for a second there, I thought Japan. Okay, I'm just going to ignore it. Just going to ignore all that. Okay, so it looks to me like the Allies are embroiled in a permanent war in South America. Uh, so that's nice for them. I'm going to consider myself done here because uh, I have no intentions of fighting the Japanese uh, or anything to do with anything to do with that at all. I mean, we did it. So I count that as a win. Papa Pio the, the 12th has, uh, has conquered Europe pretty much. I mean, he's got all of these guys as puppets. It's just a century appearance now. Um, and we also have the Holy Land, which has been taken from us by Turkey. I don't know how that's happened, considering it was ours, and we don't have a core in it anymore, but sure. <laughs> so, I guess Turkey wins? Well, in any case, lads, I do hope you enjoyed. I think next time I might look at the uh, the Swiss uh, focus tree, uh, which could be a lot of fun. I actually was considering doing a, a series, I don't know if some of you might be interested in, which is just, like, trying to learn how to play it properly. Uh, and I think it might be interesting for people to watch Someone who, I mean, I'm familiar with the game. I've got a couple of hundred hours in it, but I, I, I always play it casually. Hoi 4 is not a game that I play seriously. It's definitely a game that I play just purely for fun. So I don't usually get involved in the uh, meta discussions. I don't, I barely even build tanks a lot of the time. And I don't use the name or anything else. So it could be fun for me to try and learn how to play the game properly and then sort of record that or stream that and sort of have people learn with me. Because I think a lot of EU4 guys like myself are kind of intimidated by Hoi 4, but don't tell the Hoi 4 players that. <laughs> Right, boys, I do hope you enjoyed, um, and I look forward to reading your comments. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.